Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to Pixelmon, um, or hello Pixelites. <laughs> uh, back to Pokeopolis, and so what we got today is some special stuff, so I promised some Halloween events in my last video, and so one of the cool things I have for the server is now on the red, blue, green, and yellow servers attached to our hub, as well as Pokeopolis and Safari games, you now have the option of using slash trick or slash treat, to get uh, a random treat or trick. So, like, and you can use either slash treat or slash trick. So let's uh, have the server start testing out some of the code. Halloween surprise. And so you can do trick-or-treat once a day, so some people are getting some rare candies. Let's see if we get somebody who has something a little more interesting. Rare candy. Oh, someone got rotten candy. So that's one of the many tricks that are in there. So rotten candy, I believe, will give you a stomachache for about five minutes. Uh, let's see, anyone else has anything? Alright, let me give it a shot. So slash... Oh, what do I want to do? I'll do trick today. So maybe they have different uh, chances of giving you good things or bad things. So uh, different lists of possible results. Oh, so I got a rare candy today. Oh, someone got blind fear. <laughs> so he's blinded for five minutes. And yesterday, I actually got a Master Ball from my treat. So there are Master Balls as well on the treat. So you need to sign up on the website. Oh, looks like Doc Joe has it covered. All right, so I am up here on top of, I think this is Prismer's Castle. So there's a new arena. I thought of a change of little scenery today. He's got crazy numbers of other things. Uh, all of his, uh, like he's got, what, six or so? Oh, shit. That's not good. I wonder that's going to go. Come on, come back. Okay, good. He's got a whole bunch of uh, beacons and stuff. He's been... Uh, doing a bit of mining and trading. Um, so anyway, let's do TPO here. And oops, damn it! That they oop, whoa. There we go. So I promised a battle with Marmar. So we'll take her on first. Okay, well, she's glitched out, so she'll be back to join us in just a second. Yeah, so the thing, your panel disappearing, you either restart the client or... Okay, so, going up. Let's start with Growlithe. Nope, taken off. Oh. Oh boy, what is it? I 
Okay, so where did she go? <laughs> uh. There we go. All right, so we'll start off with Growlithe. God, it's so weird. I have all these buffs and stuff on, so it's really hard to tell what I'm doing because I'm jumping higher than I should. Alright, come on. Let's get this battle. There we go. Okay, so level 25 Mew. I don't have... Oh, I've got Bite. That's actually good against Psychic. <laughs> that was a good starting pick. Transform. Well, I'm not doing a whole lot of damage to that Mew. Um, see if I can get it burned with a Flame Wheel, maybe? Oh, it's picked up all my moves. Ow. That's not cool. Um, okay, it's probably going to use Wild Charge again, so I need to switch into something that's resistant. Go Trap Inch. Oof. Caught with the bite. Yeah, so that's evil. That Mew picked up all my skills, and I have some pretty good skills on these guys. Okay, so Mew is Psychic. Uh, I think just the bite again. Wild Charge, I'm resistant, but knocked my... <laughs> oh, Trap Inch all the way off the building. Do another Bite. Oh, Starlight. Okay, I have no idea what Starlight is, although I'm assuming it's going to be a Water type. It must have been a Star Me. Okay, so, so we got a Lapras now. Oh, these nicknames are killing me because I'm down underneath the stadium. Um... Let's see, it is ice. Uh, is rock good against ice? Give it a shot. Probably gonna die here. Oh, Confuse Ray. Okay, if I don't hit through the Confuse, I'm gonna... Rock is super effective. Okay, so I am Confused. <sighs> okay, now it's gonna hit me with a water attack, so I need to go to something that absorbs water. So we'll switch over to Gyarados. There's the water attack that I is easily able to take. Oh, okay, switched over to Ivysaur. Unfortunately, your Ivysaur is part poison, and Earthquake will be super effective. I've got good coverage moves on these guys. I'm really happy the way they turned out. Okay, so it's Lapras again. So it's probably going to try to hit me with Ice. Now, I don't have... I could go Magneton... I really don't have anything that's uh, strong against ice. Um, I can just do a bite. See if I'm faster with my speed EV training. That did not do as much damage as I was hoping. This is probably going to one-shot me. Oh, Parish Song! Lovely! I'll just bite you to death. Oh, okay. You're going to switch out to Cubone. Not cool. Okay, so I have two or three turns with Parish Song? I don't remember. Okay, that Cubone is nearly dead. Uh, I'm just going to Earthquake him. My, I can't really switch out my Gyarados, because I'm pretty sure he's... Or whatever I'll have out in a couple turns will uh, die. Okay, so Blastoise. <sighs> She's got a lot of water types. She must really like them. Um, okay, it's level 46. Um, well, let's just get an idea of how much health it has using a Dragon Rage to see how much 40 is. Iron Defense. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, so Parish Song doesn't do that much? Great, now it threw off how much my damage was. Um, uh, just do an Earthquake. So yeah, that Parish Song is a pretty deadly one. Okay, so it's a physical attack. So let's pop Executor out. He should have pretty decent speed against a Blastoise. And we'll do an Energy Ball. Should hopefully give me enough strength to kill it. Ooh, Aqua Tail. Not very much damage. And the Energy Ball kills it. Very nice. That's going to give me a f only one level? Nope. Yeah, just one level. Alright, and I need to finish off the Mew. Psychic versus Psychic.
So that's six. Oh, nope. Lapras is still out. And energy ball. Huh, interesting. Parish song, I think, uh, turns into a burn as well. That was a fun game. <laughs> Yeah, I, f I figured that out. Okay, so that takes care of that battle, so I need to slash pokey heal. Self healed up. Alright. Now, who was next? Looks like, well, it looks like AV is just gonna jump in, so, uh, start right off with Growlithe again, see if we get some. Oh, maybe not. Okay, well, we're taking on, looks like, FIFA. There's FIFA. Okay, I don't know where FIFA is. Alright, I'll just take on uh, his Umbreon to start then. And we'll figure out when the guy... When, well, we'll figure out what FIFA's doing. I don't even see him, so he must might be invisible off the teleport. Okay, so we've got an Umbreon, which is Dark-type, so Dark is ineffective. So either Flame Wheel or Wild Charge. You would think Fire would be good against Darkness, but I don't know that lineup. So we'll see here. Faint attacks, so that one will always hit. Fire Fang does not do a lot, because I think Umbreon both has a huge level advantage on me and is dark resistant. Uh, do I have anything that's actually part dark? Dark is weak against. Now yeah, Magneton will be at least a decent match. Get the level matched up, and I have a good physical defense on him. Yep, not very effective. Nice. Alright, so let's see. We could do metal or thunder. Uh, let's hit with metal. Because I know thunder isn't going to be super effective, so. As long as metal hits for normal damage, we should be okay. Oh, I need to remember to name these guys. Um, if you've got more names, name them in the comments below. Magneton, I think, is going to be Magneto, and that's about all we have so far. Uh, we have some kind of weird lag, or what's going on? He's taking his time picking. Yep. Okay, I should have went Thunder. Ah! That would have given me a critical on him as he switches in. Now the question is whether his 41 Charizard is faster than my guy, and I'm betting he is. He's going to be switching into a fire attack. <sighs> Let's see. But he's flying, so any of my ground counters won't work, so I have to go Trap Inch to get the rock counter. Oof. Ow, that still did a lot of damage. Yep, so I gotta use Rock Slide. That's the only move I have that could hit him. Probably not gonna outspeed him, though. He's got too many levels on me. Yep. Okay. Um... Crap. This is gonna be a hard one, because this guy's weak. Gyarados doesn't have any water moves to hit him with, and his only count co coverage is ground. Magneton. Magneton. He's gonna hit me with a Fire Burst, but I might be able to tank it. See if my Thunderbolt's not fast enough to hit him. Magneton. 
So all that was was just a switch out to trap inch to get him slaughtered. Not my best strategic move. He's really thinking. So yeah, definitely my other starters will definitely need to be uh, named. Um, and then also with the trick-or-treating thing, because I might as well talk about that while I'm waiting on him to pick a move. Oh, flame burst, he beat me. Okay, well, shoot. Maybe throw out my Dratini and hope to resist him enough, because I'm half. I get I get half damage from fire, so he might have enough resistance to get a thunder wave off, which will give me a chance of surviving. I should have done this first. But yeah, for the trick or treating, you can use it once per day. Aha! I have enough health to survive a dragon rage. And now he's paralyzed. And I'll just use dragon rage because it's my most damaging attack on Dratini at the moment. It's going to do good damage, so as long as I get lucky on the paralysis... Oh, nope, he got through the paralysis. Um, shoot. Oh, Growlithe has a fire move, or a lightning move. So if he gets paralyzed stuck, I can use my wild charge to kill him. Or at least do some damage to him. But yeah, you can do trick-or-treating once per day, and then on Safari games you actually get three items per round from this one trick-or-treat command. And so what that allows you to do is actually... Uh, oh, that did not do as much as I was hoping. Yes. Damn it, he's hitting through the paralysis! <laughs> well, here's a straight-up weakness. Let's see if I can hit him with a Psychic fast enough. I actually do have a lot of health on this guy, and he has some good defense, so he might be able to tank a fire hit or two. Aha! I outsped him, finally. Speed is important in these battles. Alright, let's see what he's switching into. Come on. But then, yeah, I also decorated the Safari games. I'm going to actually have another episode of Safari games, hopefully, in the next couple days. Okay, Gengar. Um, I can see why you would send a ghost against Psychic, but you are part poison, which means you're going to take a really big hit here. Um, and so I should hope. Ow, that shadow ball hurt. Should have a Safari games up with our Halloween decorated Safari map. Hopefully soon. Okay, Umbreon. Now his darkness is going to just destroy my psychic. So I think my only bet to beat him. So what do I have? I've got a Gyarados, which doesn't have very much. See, he's got about my same speed. Um, I think my energy ball is stronger than Sludge Bomb. I did a little bit of damage. Okay. So it's all up to Gyarados to beat something that's seven levels higher than him. Can't use Bite. Dragon Rage. Take two hits to win. Earthquake might take one. If I get enough damage on it. Oof. Should have Dragon Raged. Okay, good news is... Oh, okay, Confusion. I gotta, gotta keep using Dragon Rage. It's the only consistent damage I'm gonna get guaranteed. Aha! I still use Dragon Rage. Twister. That is terrible. I do not want to learn Twister. So he sent out his own level 41 gears. I thought he was done. Ugh! Oh. Earthquake is useless against Gyarados. Bite doesn't do a ton. His health has got to be at least three turns, maybe four turns worth of Dragon Rage. I think Bite is really my only chance. Let's see how much it does. He's got at least 120 health. He's just going to Dragon Rage me down. Oh, he's got a lot of health if that's only 40. Oh, wow, he put some health buffs into that. Um... And he is faster than me. I'm pretty doomed here. <sighs> Why did I just use Tackle? I didn't even use Bite. Oh well. Oh, that was a good one. 
So that was a pretty powerful one. So I think we're going to call that an episode here. So we had some trick-or-treating. We got a treat. We had a trick. Um, <laughs> oh, man, we got destroyed on that last battle. Um, so video should be up usual schedule. Expect a Safari games in the next couple days. I've been wanting to do one of those again. I just haven't had time. I've been trying to finish the code for it for public release. And then we will uh, hopefully have another Halloween-ish series starting up pretty quick. And I'll, you'll find that out when you find that out. So I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.